Today's episode of The Mom Game is brought to you by our friends at Gateway Buick GMC at LBJ and Jupiter. I know that buying a car can be stressful, but not at Gateway because their slogan is Gateway's got it. And just what does that mean? Well, it means Gateway's got a wide selection of new Buicks, GMCs, and GM certified used vehicles, all competitively priced. Gateway's got it. In these busy times, you want a car dealer who makes things easy and convenient. Well, guess what? Gateway's got it. When you log on to gatewaybuickgmc.com, look for the shop, click, drive button. You can shop from the comfort of your home. And in fact, it's as easy as one, two, three, one, select your vehicle Two, create your offer three, schedule your delivery. And on top of all this gateway Buick GMC offers complimentary car washes for life. So when you want a dealer who has it all gateways, got it. You can find them online at gatewaybuickgmc.com or shop in person at LBJ and Jupiter GMC. We are professional grade experience the new Buick. And welcome to episode 176 of The Mom Game. I'm Emily Jones. She's Julie Dobbs. And look who we have. <laughs> Woo! Here I am. My guy, Nathaniel Lowe. <laughs> Nate, thanks so much for coming in. It's I mean, I, you're the, you are the o- uh, by far the only dude in that clubhouse that would take the off day, <laughs> play some golf, and then come in here to hang with The Mom Game. So you're right down I, the road. It's a treat. I so it's appreciate you. You're Thank awesome. You. Um, I'm going to let Julie kind of ask some questions because I know you will look, I mean, I know you pretty well. Yeah. Um, so for, the, for those of, uh, our listeners who, who may, may not know you terribly well, I want to kind of get to a little bit of everything with you, but sure. I just want to say thanks for coming in. Thank you for um, having me. You're the best. And you're all, already an established podcast host yourself. Oh, no, it's like, it's like a call up, like listen to your read in on the ad there. I'm like checking your paper to see if it's scripted. Cause I'm like, gosh. That's better than the read-ins that we do. Like, the, like I'm getting called up to the big league podcast now. Like, what's up, mom game? Like, well, here we go. And I told Nate we go way back because I met him at the Stars game not yes. that long ago. Yes. So we're old friends, old pals. Um, that was super fun seeing you there. But before we get to anything else, I want to talk to you about golf. I want to talk to you about being a hockey fan. I want to talk to you about playing baseball, sure. all the things. But we got to talk about Emily for a minute. Okay. Ooh. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. So, like, what were your first impressions of her, uh, and Emily, how big of a disaster is she? Emily, no, no, it's not a disaster. <laughs> it's just like, you know, when we were so bad, my first, my first time through, we were so bad. And yeah. Emily, Emily got there for the broadcast. She's like, I could see her like just great through it, you know. You could tell like, she was beat down. <laughs> Come on, Rangers fans! Like, <laughs> you know, we're ready for another game today, and we're like, oh my gosh, can we not like lose by twelve tonight? You know. <laughs> You know, and like, yeah, the, like the brand of Rangers baseball that she's been a part of before us is like, you know, they're like cartoon characters, some of us, because, you know, they're larger than life, like big time. You got Hall of Fame players that have come through here. And then, yeah, so I don't know, but we're in year three together. I think we're like heading in the right direction. Like, yeah. I, it's pretty fun. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's an honor to be here. Aww. It is fun. I yeah. mean, and you're, you're, you're fun. Like, you're, you're just like, you're so loose and you keep things really light and I, I, I love your sense of humor. Thank you. Um, you know, we, we do have a lot of fun times, but like Nate will give me so much shit. Like the other day, <laughs> we had to wear fishing shirts on the weekend. <laughs> yeah, what was that all about? Okay, so apparently Academy sponsored the series again. You don't have a crop top PFG shirt. It was not sport. a crop top. I, so. I always know, like, when Emily's put up to something she doesn't want to do by the Rangers or John like, Blake, because she'll, she'll tweet screwed. about it and she'll be like, don't you love my fishing shirt, everybody? Yeah, yeah. So, so anyway, the Academy sponsored, I can't remember who we were, oh, the series against uh, the Guardians. Yes. Mm-hmm. And so part of the deal that Bally sold, because God bless them, they need money, was for us to wear these yeah. fishing shirts yeah. on the air so i was I, you, it's, did they it, it's, ask you before they no, sold that no and it's not possible to look good in a fishing or feminine in a fishing shirt so i had a probably this very dress and i would just put the fishing shirt in and then i would tie it in a yeah. bow and not in the front yeah so nate one day was like you look hot <laughs> not <laughs> Thank you. That's amazing. Yeah, Thank you, know, you for that. Keep her I mean, humble. You he couldn't keep her say humble. not that's fast enough. Like, man, all. you look hot not. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But that's like the beauty of Emily. Fair she enough. will give you shit and she is fine with right. taking oh. shit back. Like, yeah, it's got to go both ways. It's two-way street, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. like, there's nothing better than, like, thinking I'm coming upstairs and Emily's like, hey, don't fuck it up today. I'm like... <laughs> 
Yeah, you're right, lady. You're right, lady. It's not she that means hard. Business. <laughs> yeah, it's not that hard. It's don't, easy game. Just don't yeah, fuck yeah. Up, right? That's all. Uh, well, she probably has a way of making people feel comfortable that's in all. the clubhouse. Like it's your your friend, your sister, somebody that you can shoot the shit with. And I feel like that has to like kind of just play into the chemistry of the team, the group, the locker room, everything else. Like yeah. you have to be loose. Yeah. And she helps maybe people be that way. I'm well, there's there's a lot more professionalism. Sorry, I probably botched that word. A you're lot good. more professionalism to that role than people pay attention to. You know, mm-hmm. so like when you're traveling with the team, you're traveling with grown men. And, you know, you got families, you got things going on on and off the field, and like, you know, she's bringing her kids on the road, trying to balance vacation and work and all this other stuff. So yeah. I don't know. Just over over the couple of years, like it's cool to see it grow, like the way it's growing, and yeah, yeah. like it's yeah, it's yeah, a hard role, man. Like, it's a hard role because you got to find you got to find good things to say about a bad team, and then you got to you know make the wins look better and all this other stuff, and then yeah, yeah, now like like you know things are in circle, like it's coming back the way it needs to be. The team's playing the way we need to, and like right? you got better things to talk about. Yeah. So how, how how like this has been such a pleasant season for me. It's been so yes. much fun. Well, first of all, I mean the guys are great. I've talked about this. I mean it's a great group. It's a great clubhouse, um, and it's been. I feel like we've had good clubhouses the last yes. several years, but it, the wins have not come. No. And so for you especially, that you're the longest tenured ranger. That's crazy been, to say. Isn't it's that crazy? crazy? Yes. Um, what but, season is this for you? Just three. Just, just three. Only three, yeah. But it, so I guess tenured. Jose LeClerc, he's yeah, yeah. technically, but Jose's gone up and down. Okay. It's been a, you know, so position player-wise, Nate's been the, you know, been there the longest. Wow. And so for you, how cool is it to experience, you know, this kind of resurgence that this team has had and the way that you guys are playing? It's got to be so much damn fun. I mean, it's just kind of what you expect, though, you know. Like, you, you know, you come out to this stadium, like, it's such a spectacle, right? Like, it's not the, it's not the, oven than it was of old where you're dying for the first <laughs> seven innings and you know trying to figure out how to go home early and mix in a water like the roof's great the air conditioner's great the amenities are great I feel like it's a good place to take in a game so you know it's time for us to put a great product on the field and yeah. it feels like you know in year three we're finally getting some traction with you know important changes up top and then at field level like we add new players and we keep heading in the right direction like it's just it's a good time to come to a Rangers game it's a good time to be a part of the team like it's what this area deserves. Two seasons ago, 102 losses. Awful. Like, it's insane. And Awful. then you talk about just the turnover in the group from then until now. Oh, yeah. And for you to be one, one of the only ones who has seen it all, like, do the other guys get it? <laughs> oh, no. Like, I mean, it just has to it has to feel good, I guess, just to be a part of that, yes. that turnover, that resurgence, mm-hmm. and like you said, just make coming to work every day. It's just that much better. A lot yeah, more fun. Yeah, winning solves everything. Yeah. Like, it really does, you know? Like, it's good to have a good culture, and it's nice to have a good time at work, but yeah, when you win and you perform, like, that's what you're there to do. And yeah, I, Jonah and Dulles have been through the same thing, and even... Martin being around for forever, like they've seen good and bad brands of Texas Rangers baseball, and now it feels like we're starting to see like, you know, things swing back in our direction for what could potentially be a really long time. Yeah. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to undersell that either. But we have a lot of players that are locked in for a really long time here. Yeah, it's a good time to be a Ranger. Yeah, and for you too. I mean, you you've established yourself here as an everyday big leaguer. No yeah. more platooning. No more none of that. I mean, how good does that feel to you? And also, too, there was knocks on the defense. There was knocks on the glove and the strides that you've made. I mean, just, you know, this has been a, this has been a great place for you oh, as yeah. far as your career is concerned and what I you've been able to so do. I owe so many thank yous. Like, I'll say it all the time. I owe so many thank yous to the Rangers staff just for giving me a chance because that's all you want as a player, right, is consistency. Because if you play long enough, you're going to get it right eventually or you're going to have the opportunity to figure out where you're short and keep getting better. And for them just to continue to, like, run me back out there over and over again through two horrible seasons and now a season where, you know, we're over halfway through, we're still in first place, and we're not really looking to drop to second, like, it's a treat. It's a real treat, and they just given me the chance over and over again. And, yeah, to be able to establish myself, like, it's kind of crazy. You know, it's so crazy looking at it thinking, like, wow, I'm an everyday big leaguer. You know, you still think, like, oh, man, here and there. Like, I watched Josh this past weekend, right? You play Tampa, and then sometimes they play matchups, and you go sit on the bench, and that's the only thing you can do because that's the system that they run. But Texas lets me play, and that's really all you can ask for. And Josh, of course, is your yes. brother. Yeah, Josh, Josh is my younger brother. Yeah. Josh, who plays um, for the Rays, and you guys got to play 
against each other yeah, a couple twice, of times, though. which is a really it has to be weird. Yeah. So cool. Fun, weird. So you talk cool. shit to each other. Yeah, here and there. I <laughs> smacked him yesterday. I smacked him on a pick off really good yesterday. And like, yeah. We did notice you came down extra hard on that pick. <laughs> yes. Yeah, extra you hard. Like, you know, you only get the chance. I have no idea if I'll get another chance to tag my brother out at first base. Right? You know, I'm going to smack him. And I yeah. Did. Yeah, I did. I saw you at the Stars game. So I covered the Stars for a long time. Jamie Ben, the captain of the Stars, and his brother Jordy Ben was on the team for a while right. and then left. And so whenever we did get the rare game where they had to play against each other, mm. it was like you could just tell how amped up both of them got. Because that's your whole childhood, right? Is yes. like going back and forth with your brother, giving each other shit, and then all of a sudden you both achieve your dreams and see it kind of come to fruition on the field at the same time. Mm -hmm. Had to be like really fun for your family too. Yes, yeah. My parents were there this weekend. Just my parents and my grandma this time. We had so uh -huh. many in Tampa. It was such a circus. Like... Yeah, it was a good time. Like, I was ready to play baseball, but it was almost more like a family reunion than a couple baseball games. Yeah, but this time yeah, having just them here. Yeah, oh, yeah, swept yeah. up. Three yeah, times. This time, yeah, this time just having my parents here and taking three in a row. Uh-huh. <laughs> like and your mom better. is a trip. Yes. I mean, Wendy is a yeah. trip. And she, she is gets fully many, involved. Yes, and she gets many shout-outs on the broadcast yes. because there was the controversy. Was it last season or two seasons ago? With Nate versus Nathaniel. Oh my gosh, yeah. Yeah, uh, we, I want to talk about that. Yeah, uh, and we, yeah I know. Uh, and, and so Wendy what, like, basically called us out. Like, he's, his name is Nathaniel. Why are we calling? Why are y'all calling him Nate? And so it, that came from mom. That oh, yeah. came from. Oh, mom. Yeah. oh yeah. Okay. Well, let's hear I love it. What happened? Okay. Wendy okay. doesn't hold back. No, no way. No, and you can't falter for that. No, no. You know, she named me Nathaniel. Yes. You know, it's like if your if your name legally was. M, right? Then, right. Then, yeah, and your mom named you Emily, like, she's probably going to say something. Right. Yeah, and it got to the point where, like, my official profile, like, my MLB.com profile said David Natel, N-A-T-E-L. That's not my name. That's not even Low, anybody's LMG. name. Oh, my gosh. Like, I, I'm at the top, you know, top of the top in the major leagues, and I can't get my name spelled right. Natel. Like, like, MLB profile, so my birthday comes around, and... You know, they tweet, happy birthday, Nate, or whatever. And I, I don't know. I'm not on Twitter. I don't miss Twitter at all. So uh, no offense. You know. but yeah, Twitter's yeah. gross. Um, <laughs> That's smart. That's <laughs> smart. Gross. It's just it's just accessible. Um, yeah, it is. And, yeah, so she says, you know, can I say something to the team? Like, your name's Nathaniel. I'm like, yeah, Mama, yeah. Sure. You're my, it's you're my mom. Twitter. Yeah, it's you can do Twitter. whatever you want. Yeah, and she did. And, oh, my gosh, uh, Rich Rice, John Blake, all the PR guys, like, <laughs> run over to my locker. They're like, we didn't know you want to go by Nathaniel. We're so sorry. Like, oh, should we start? Should we tell the broadcaster to do it? Dave Raymond had a trip with it. Oh my gosh, it was oh, yeah. so funny. Yeah. yeah, and yeah, she's like, you know, people are sending me those direct messages on Twitter. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. welcome, welcome to, it. to Twitter. <laughs> welcome Mom. to it. That's how people communicate. Say mean things about your job. Like, <laughs> yes. like that's how it goes. Like, close your DMs. Yes, Mom. Yeah. yeah, make yeah. those public or private. But sorry, I will. Oh, yeah. But I will say, like, sometimes I'll call you Nate. Sometimes I'll call you Nathaniel. And care. because yeah, I know you don't care. Uh, but I. But Mom cares, same, Emily. But yes. I know. Right. I, yes. I know. But I feel like Winnie and I bonded now. Okay. Uh, we bonded but you over. Can still call her son the right I, name. I, well, <laughs> yeah, this is true. Um, but I, I, I told you the story that we have to tell the story about the way that we bonded, uh, oh my over God. The week, when, when Tampa was in town. Mm. So I had never, uh, should I, let, I, I should let you tell the story. So I had never met oh. Josh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did she tell you this? Yeah. I had never met Ooh. Nate's <laughs> brother, Josh. Ooh. So, so I walk up and I make eye contact with Nate and I'm like, Hey, you know, he's talking to Josh and I was like, I, and he was like, Oh, do you want to meet my brother? And I said, yes, I've never met him before. You take it from here. And she, you know, <laughs> puts her arm on his shoulder. Nice to meet you. Blah blah blah. Congratulations to you and your wife. You know, I've been following your fertility story. <laughs> Emily, I've been following. Well, I, I know. I know. Came in guns a I know. <laughs> Just like, hey, right away. Really, so nice to meet you. I'm so y'all so sharing proud. your fertility. So proud. And, I, and I'm looking at Josh. And I'm like. Hmm. Just waiting. <laughs> Just waiting. How are you going to get out of this? Like, like, what are you going to say to, like, you know, slow that crash and burn down a little bit? Right. He's like, no, nah, that was Brandon. I'm like, uh, oh. So then I'm thinking, wait, oh. is there a third? So Because then my mind's racing. I'm like, So it wasn't I, him, for people that don't know. So for people who don't know, there on, I, on social media, like, a, f a few months ago or a month ago or whatever, there was a story about a Tampa Bay Ray Last name L O W E. Pronounce Lau. And his wife going through this fertility journey, and they had a baby, and it was beautiful. And I had to do IVF with Henry, so I'm very partial to these types of stories. I just wanted to thank him for sharing his journey for, with other people. 
right? And then, so then once I figure out, they're like, no, that's Brandon. And then I'm like, is there a third low brother? And then I'm like, so then my wheels turning and then they're like, that's a short O, not a long O. And I'm like, oh my, like where, what's, what has even happened? you're standing there with all of them as you realize so like, And then I'm there was another, there, there was a coach. Yeah. Yes, there was yeah, a coach there, was one, one of the Tampa more. Bay yes, coaches. He's great. And he's and, so nice about it too. Oh my gosh, I'm sitting there going, yep. I'm like <laughs> watching you crash and burn. So oh, I think you loved great. it. So at some point I just was like, so this is really awkward. Should I just excuse myself right now? And they're, I mean, they're just crushing me. And then that's when Nate brings up the, yeah, this one was wearing a, crop top fishing, <laughs> cut off fishing shirts earlier this week. I was like, here we go. Like, it's just, it was, anyway. I love it. So embarrassing. Do nothing this week. But, She'll get me next but, week. She'll get me next Redemption. Week. So I go up because I had never met Nate's parents. Uh-huh. Um, and so I saw Brenna, Nate's girlfriend, and, his pa- and Nate's parents, and then his grandmother was there. So I went up in the stands and introduce myself and you know they're like well we you know we watch all the time and you tell Dave Raymond that I hear him and blah anyway so I said I've got to share the story with you guys like of what just happened between me and your sons so I tell them the story and they're just dying laughing and then Nate's grandmother looks at me and she goes honey you should not feel bad at all. Oh my gosh. <laughs> when I was in Tampa Bay for the first time, I saw this poster and there it was right there, just low. And then there's a picture of my grandson. And I said, somebody come over here and take a picture of me and my <laughs> grandson on this poster. So they take it and then I show it to somebody and they're like, that's not Josh. <laughs> that's Brandon Lau. And I was like, oh, so she I was like, us. oh my God. Oh, she you were us. very thankful oh, so for that. Good. It's, it was amazing. So I was like, grandmother, low, you're amazing. Like, I uh, love you so so much uh, thank you it yeah. was it was tremendous so then every time I saw Josh after that I just said hey say hi to the wife and kids for me <laughs> like sure yes. thing yes he's two and a half years younger than me uh, so he's yeah he's 25 okay I'm 28 20? yeah he's 25 just so yeah 28. so yeah I just turned 28 he's 25 in February so yeah he's not quite like I don't know. He could be not watching yet. kids' age, but that's so funny that you say that. Oh my god! That's so I funny that you say that. an inside joke yeah. between all of uh, y'all. Yes. I'm sure, that's yes. amazing. Um, Should we pause for Bottle River? Pause for Bottle River. Um, we have to talk about our friends at Bottle River, Nate. This sure. is a company where you can get an app on your phone. You select what kind of booze you want from the store, and you click deliver, and they bring it to oh, your front yes. door. Yes, talk twice. About Bottle that. River. <laughs> uh, they will bring you your drinks for free. With a $50 minimum order, we know that's very easy to do when you are imbibing (laughs) and you're buying things like that. Summer's here, time to sit back and relax. Bottle Rover here to take that relaxation to the next level. You don't want to be running extra errands right now. Save yourself the trouble. Download the Bottle Rover app now. Kick back, relax, let Bottle Rover fetch your drinks for free when you spend $50. Shop local liquor stores, too, straight from your phone so you can enjoy all of those cool vibes. Yeah, Thank you, awesome. Bottle Rover. Thanks to Bottle Rover. Also, too, want to mention, um, before we go any further with Nate, the family field day at Globe Life Field. While we are in San Diego, mm-hmm. you'll be playing baseball. I will be reporting on baseball. They're hosting a family field day on the field. You're coming on the road? Globe Life I- we got to work on her road record. Oh, now. We got to work on her Uh-oh. road record. That's all. All I'm, doing... all I'm saying is we're due. I know. Okay? That's all I I'm know. saying. We're due. It's not good. It only it's needs to bring home some more I know. Okay, it's coming. San Diego. I'm going to better my record. <laughs> we got it. Um, family Field Day on July 29th. It's from 10 to 2, uh, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. So you get a chance to enjoy activities directly on the field. At the home of the Texas Rangers, you can stand on first base where Nate plays every day. Adults and kids of all ages will enjoy a mini home run derby, Rangers alumni player appearances, and you can play catch on the field and so much more. Uh, we cannot wait to see you, or actually, Julie can't wait to see you at the ballpark there. on nice. July 29th because she will be there. Yep. And I can't figure out the time difference, but 10 to 2, I'm not sure if we'll be playing then Sunday. I don't know what time the game is, but 10 to 2. maybe we'll have the pregame show on. Anyway. Um, that sounds like it's, hard it's, math. It's hard math to figure out time differences. One, yeah. one so, o'clock West Coast. Kind one of. o'clock West Coast, which would be three o'clock here. So it's a negative. Yeah. Sure. Uh, maybe they'll show. be playing highlights. You sure. could invite Nate's, um, Nate's fake niece and nephew. Yes. Please tell your fake niece, <laughs> your non-existent niece and nephew. Sure. They like yes. They've been through a lot, lot with all the fertility struggles. They need to go have fun. Yeah. Yeah. Long, long road. Blessing. Long road. You yeah, know, it's been a long here. road. Uh, yeah. So visit globelifefield.com to get your tickets. Join Julie and the whole Forbes crowd at Family Fun Day. Yeah. At Globe Life Field. Um, so let's talk a little bit 
of baseball. Okay. More baseball. Okay. Because coming out of the All-Star break, you guys are undefeated. How about it? A couple of series wins, uh, sweeps, and now you're hitting the road like you and him were just talking about after another series, of course, that will go down with the Dodgers. Is the feeling like this thing's just, I mean, you have to feel like at this point, can this go on for... Ever. Uh, ever? You for a you while? Want it to stop. You right? Know, you don't want yeah. it to stop. And taking on the road, though, might be a little bit different, but... I, we're going to lose again. Yeah. You know, we're going to lose again in the second half. It's just like, you know, let's just, after we lose one, we'll come back and win three more. What feels different right now? No, we're just playing better. You know, we're just doing it. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, that last little stretch before the All-Star break, we just kind of crashed and burned into the stretch. It just felt like we had so much going on. You know, we had so many players going to Seattle and then trying to figure out, where am I going for the All-Star break? What am I doing? How am I going to get reset and have a good second half? Because there's a couple guys that, like, you know, myself included, I didn't play up to my standard in the first half. And you have to balance sanity, playing on the road, playing, a, a like, objectively bad Washington team and losing, playing a Houston team that's not the same and losing three. Like, you know, it, it's a pretty rough stretch there. But, yeah, we just did a good job over the All-Star break. We're ready to go. We just played better. Yeah. That's it. In, in baseball – I keep talking about hockey, but that's what I'm used to. And there's usually a very vocal person, whether it's the captain or somebody else. So somebody that will just try to rally the troops that will be like, all right, guys, like, let's freaking figure this out. Like, let's get it together. Is there anybody like that? No way. In y'all's clubhouse? No way. There's There's nobody. No, it's like, that's so bad. Everyone just does it themselves. It's just so bad. I don't know. Like, I, I don't know. When you have meetings and stuff, if you have a meeting with, the manager or somebody above that with the team, like, usually it's like, all right, hey, we're in trouble. You know, like, we're playing pretty poorly. We lost eight or nine in a row. Like, let's do something different, circle the wagons. But I, I don't know. I've never been a part of a team where the record was any good after a, a meeting like that because, yeah. like, we all know what's happening. You right. Know, no, the, the record's not a secret from anybody. And position players who are, like, everyday players, you feel it when you lose every day yeah. for four or five in a row, and yeah. that sucks. Uh-huh. But you know you want to win. Right. And yeah. probably seeing one or two wins, like, you can feel the difference. And then you're like, okay, that's what right. we want. Let's keep this going. Right. You don't and need like, that person in your face. And or... then, yeah, and then after the game, too. Like, if somebody's like, ah, you know, come on, guys. We got it. Like, you have a great day tomorrow. Like, <laughs> Tim Tebow in your yeah. face. <laughs> like, come on. Come on. Like, you're yelling for 30 seconds after a game at 11 o'clock at night. And you have the entire day until 7.07 to stand in the batter's box for a minute and a half. And then at 8.15 to stand in the batter's box for a minute and a half. 8.45 maybe, and then at 9.30. So, like, one minute of yelling the night before is not going to help you right. play better well, than Well, and you don't do that during that. the game at right, all, really. Right. It is different yeah. from hockey in that regard. And I don't know? think we – I think the game has changed – totally from that oh, like you know 100%. what I mean and it's like what Marcus I remember having a conversation with Marcus Simeon and you know just about like rookies and how they're treated and guys that are coming up and you know he's like this this game is hard enough as it is mm-hmm. why would we as teammates make it more difficult on these young players right. why would me and wh- whereas when I first started covering baseball there was a definite you know line between veterans and rookies and even young players like it just was you know there was you know, rites of passage that you right. had to go through and all that kind of stuff. It feels like the game as a whole has just completely gone away from that. Yeah, and I feel like in that era too, like when a rookie was coming up, a rookie was taking somebody's job, right? So it's okay for the other old guys to rag on them and be like, hey, because you knew the roster. Like you knew the Texas Rangers roster. Like I knew the Braves roster when I was a kid. I knew who played every single position. If they called somebody up from AAA, like – you know, like, like, oh, my gosh, is uh, Dan Ugla done? Like, you know, is, like, is this new guy going to come in and take his spot and this, that, and the other? And, like, yeah, hazing was a thing. But now with players going back and forth to AAA so much, like, you want to perform. Like, everybody needs to perform. There's a chance that your, your guy with four at-bats in the big leagues has a chance to win a game in the bottom of the eighth. Like, you yeah, shouldn't I mean, be ragging on him before the game, you know? Look at Alex Spees. Come on. I mean, no, lo- on. look no further mm-hmm. than on. Alex Spees. Right. Like, Throwing in a one-run game. Making yes. a debut. Yeah, Crazy. yeah. It Crazy. seems like when you're talking about like those moments or whatever, where everybody's rallying together, it's not manufactured from a, a, a captain or a leader, like you said. But a moment like that, or a mm-hmm. moment like Aroldis Chapman hurling 103 the other night, Crazy. like that, has to bring the group together. Yes. Emily told the story to us. She comes on my my radio show every Tuesday, just about how everybody was up on their feet and they're just high fiving, like yes. those kind of things. Yes. have to be what brings the group together and then hopefully like elevates you guys to another level. Right. So that's done non-verbally. Yeah. Right? That's the most important that's part. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, like Spees, 
Speed's punching people out. It's not like he showed up and gave a rah rah speech and we're like, all right, guys, let's go get him today. It's not like Chappie showed up. It's like, all right, hey, I'm here to throw 103. Like you just go out and do it. Right. And that's what that, that's what it feels like. This group does. Like yeah. there, we've always got somebody that's gonna go out and do it. Mm -hmm. like, Leody's gonna get overlooked for having the day that he had yesterday. But Leody Ferris had a great day. Yeah. You know, to beat a first place Tampa team basically by himself, and then T Jonah up to hit a big home run. Jonah Heim hit a big home run. But there's just so many different ways that we win games instead of one person stepping up and saying hey guys this is how we're going to do it and that's what i think makes this group really special yeah i and completely really agree but when you get a guy like you know with the with the the stuff that a chapman has and with the career that he has and the history that he has i mean just i mean the dude has done it and he's done it on the biggest stages and you know and and I said this the other day too when I was talking to Boach. Like, I Will Smith is effing amazing. Yeah. Like, I mean, he's seventeen, I love Will. nineteen. I mean, he's blown two saves. That's it. I mean, he's been nails for you all yes. season. And he's, I love, I love the way he carries himself. I love his demeanor out on the mound. I love all of that. But there is something about when that radar gun hits triple digits, yeah. and when Aroldis Chapman is out on the mound, and then he does this like. <laughs> action figure pose after he strikes a dude out and you're like if he's on the other team i effing hate it but he's on mine and yes. i effing love it yes yes yeah 100 percent. yes he's yeah he's like i don't know it's no secret he's a nice guy he's been great but that's a scary oh, he's been that's a scary human being dude, he's you know so fucking big. yeah so big so oh big. he looks gosh. like a fitness model like he when he's really in there does. lifting like you know i the first day I saw him lift, like the very next day, I came in as a joke in my underwear because he lifts in he lifts in like uh, compression tights and a dark black like Nike dry fit shirt. He looks like a fitness model. Stop so it. next day I was like, yeah, hell yeah, I'm going there in my underwear. <laughs> we gotta lift in Boston because it's too hot in Boston anyway. Like the Boston weight room's awful, and yeah, I, I don't know. I think I'm gonna hit a couple hits that night too, so I should have done it the next day. But yeah, yeah. yeah what did he say when you walked like, in in your you underwear? Know, he just kind of looks at me. He's like, ah, this guy. <laughs> like, here we go again. Like another another funny white guy. You were like, oh hey, you need to spot you. No, you spot you. No way. No I've been way. meaning to ask you this, Em, and I haven't. So I'll ask you. Um, so the the Rangers teams that you mentioned that Emily covered, the teams that went to the World Series, and they were a lot of fun to watch, a lot of fun to get to know. They had the the claw and the antlers. Mm -hmm with Ron Washington. They had these hand signs. And fans loved it. It was yeah. organic. It wasn't like a marketing department okay, that was like, yeah. do this, and then we'll sell a t-shirt. Like, right. it just happened. I've noticed y'all doing no. something. No. Can't talk about it. No. Yep. That's in-house. Yeah. No, <laughs> but we're, we're cool here, I'm bro. Sorry. I'd, love, yeah. I'd love to tell you. You I know really that would. people are going to try to figure it out. It's oh. so far off limits. I can't. You know? I, uh, no. I don't. No. I've been, I, I've no. been told that and it no. won't be talked about. It can't. Okay, it but really that's cool, can't. though. I that's like that. Absolutely. That's I like that you absolutely. don't want to tell. I that's love that so there's great. something. Yeah. I wish I could. Yeah. Well, because I wish we I could. hadn't seen anything like that I know. in a while. Because and it's like, not just one thing. No. It's, there's it's all things. kinds of stuff. Yeah. There's all Does kinds everybody of stuff. understand? Yes. Does everybody yes. understand? Do yes. Do you have a guide? Do you have a key? Yeah. A legend? Like, yeah. if there's a bunch of different things, how do you guys keep up? Do you That's tell the new guys when they come in? I mean, here and there's there. There's not a ton of new position players. There. No, no. In, thank, no, we haven't shuffled out a bunch of position players. No, been nice. at all. Yeah. It's good for offense, too. You get guys yeah. in a rhythm, it's nice. But, um, sure. Yeah, everybody knows. Okay, okay. I everybody love that knows. though. Like, yep. hey, keep it's your secret, thing. man. Well, Whatever y'all are doing. All the players know. The staff it's, doesn't know, no. and, and that's it's you know, thing. that's why they sit down there, and we sit down there, and right. that's that. We'll yeah. mix it's in kind where of we awesome. have to. Yeah. But another thing that's really awesome too is all like pregame, and we have cameras shooting in there, I you hate know, it. in I the hate dugout. It. You do. <laughs> I do. Because there, the the fact that you guys can keep track of what handshake pregame routine you have with what mm. player and what coach is beyond me can't miss that it they all have the same that's amazing they, they do the same thing before every game yes so it's, does it frustrate you when people are like oh there's no fun in baseball and you know it's just not it's, true. it's, it's too just traditional it sounds true. like there's a lot of fun in baseball yeah, but maybe it's, it's just not the media is not necessarily privy to it's it just all simply not true yeah i don't know fun. like yeah once you're once you're like in and part of it you understand like i'm sure that you have a better appreciation for hockey yeah like being on the inside knowing what's going on you know like I go to a hockey game, I watch a puck go down the ice, and I watch a guy skate after it. I'm like, yeah, that's cool, hit each other, you know? <laughs> but, like, but yeah, like, when I watch baseball, you watch the trend and watch the game and see what's actually going on, and it's like, oh, that's so entertaining to me. Yeah. Maybe not to the naked eye, but, yeah. yeah, from seeing it from ground zero to TV, and, like, it looks so easy on TV, it really oh, does. right. Yeah, but, I don't know, it's so cool. It's, it's the yeah. best. You never beat it. You so, never, ever beat it. Um, so, for you... I, 
I used to try to figure out your wardrobe, your oh, uniform no. choices. It's impossible. There's no. no rhyme or reason to no it. No way. It's I just, just got just new like, socks this week, too. Okay. I don't know if you noticed that. Sometimes it'll be, you know, stirrups. Mm. Sometimes it'll be not none. It used okay. To be the mock turtleneck heavy in the rotation. It's too hot. It's too hot. It, it, what, so what, what, what's going in yeah. your, what's Usually going through your mind? Usually guys just find something and stick with it. With these, <laughs> just mixing it up all the time? I mean, like, I don't know. It's a, it's a treat to put on a major league uniform, you know? And, like, I don't know, sometimes you just want it to look different. That's all. So, yeah. So, I, I wear old school stirrups. I wear the old bacon strip stocks with the the sanitary with the one stripe up the side. That's my new one that came out this last week. Um, every now and then, I'll wear them up around my knee. And, yeah. I can't get behind the pulling them up with the um, compression tights underneath yeah, yeah, them yeah. and, like, a workout like sock. That. Like, nah, that's not it. Yeah. yeah that's not that's it. Not but, it. yeah. Do you have a favorite uniform? Um, I miss the reds. I really like I know. Like I like the reds, top. too. The red top was my favorite because, yeah, because I could wear that with – I could wear it with any kind of pants that I wanted, any color spikes that I wanted to. Uh, red spikes look good. White spikes look good. I could wear them pants up or with the stirrups. And yeah. then the red mock turtle matched really it really well. I miss too. Yeah. So one more thing about your brother. How Do y'all, is it always friendly competition? Like how, yeah. that's got to be, first of all, have yeah, brothers playing in the big leagues. Yeah, it's grown that unbelievable. way. Unbelievable. It's but grown that Yeah, way. so how. There were definitely times where we want to. Kill each other. Yeah, kill each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you, I mean. But now, I mean, you genuinely root for each other, I would yeah. assume. Like, yeah. that would be... Except I just hate watching them hit a go-ahead home run. Yeah. I hate it. Yeah, not against you. That's not cool. Yeah. No, no. It's like, come on, man. Just hit the yeah. wall. Yeah, just... <laughs> like, hit the wall. Run a second. You know, don't yeah. hit it over the wall. It's like, that's a point. Stop. <laughs> that's a point. Stop it right there. Stop. I'll yeah. talk about Athletic Greens a minute, and y'all can chill, and then we'll just do one more quick segment with okay. okay. How's that, sir? Uh, I'm up for whatever. Um, AG1 is another one of our partners here on the show. I have really enjoyed uh, learning all about it and drinking their drinks. I actually took it to Hawaii last week. And it's kind of good for when you're a little bit hungover. (laughs) You put those greens back in your body and you feel good. It's AG1. Um, It also really helps your gut health, which is so important. And being a busy mom, and I know you understand too, sometimes it's hard to make sure you're eating healthy. You're getting all the nutrients that you need. And with AG1, you can get it all in one drink. You don't have to worry about taking a bunch of supplements. Uh, This is just one single solution that can support your entire body and give you those nutritional needs that you need. AG1, a foundational nutrition supplement that delivers comprehensive nutrients for the whole body health. Um, There's a lot of reasons that you should take it. I love it. I've honestly noticed a little bit of difference with energy, with gut health, like I said, and um, we're so happy to be working with them here on the mom game. You know how busy we can be, so if you're looking for self-care that's quick and easy, try AG1 and get a free one-year supply of vitamin D and five free AG1 travel packs with your first purchase. Go to, this is important, go to drinkag1.com slash mom game. That's drinkag1.com slash mom game and get all of those things. You get your discount. You get your AG1. You're going to love it. Tell us what you think. Thank you, AG1. Yay. Thank you. Um, Okay. So I've met Brenna, your girlfriend. She's awesome. Yeah. Um, My better half. What is it? Yeah. What's, what's dating like? Have you, how did you meet her? Like how long have y'all been dating? Uh, two years. Two years. Like right at the end of two years. Yeah, we were kind of off and on. Like when I first got to Texas, and I yeah. was like, huh, you know, I'm I'm young and like still single enough. Like, yeah, I, it's fine to casually date around, see what I like, and see what's going on. But yeah, yeah definitely at a point where I was like, okay, like I'm into you. Like we should, yeah, date. Cease yeah. all other yeah, activities. Yeah, like date. Yeah, like with a means to an end. You know, like don't date her, not to marry her. And yeah, it's it's pretty fun. Um, getting her used to like the life that I have to live is, is a treat. Like it's, it's something special that not a lot of relationships get to go through because like, I don't know, I'll joke with her and say like, you know, these people only like me cause I, cause my job, right. right. Cause I have a really cool job. Like they wouldn't want to come up and take pictures. We went to a wedding. One of her really good friends got married a week ago and a bunch of people come up taking pictures and sat you know, the whole time I'm looking at her. I'm like, see, like I told you so, you know, but it's like an experience of public interaction that we're yeah. like getting used to as a couple, which is like the next step. It's kind of cool because yeah. You know, she, she'll tell me all the time, like, hey, be nice, you're making these people's day. Because sometimes I don't see it that way. Right. You know, and like, you know, anybody else, like, you just get tired of it sometimes. You're yeah. like, man, I just want to be at a wedding and celebrate my friends. Yeah. Like, who cares if I have a cool job or not? But yeah, that's that's a learning step for us that's been 
actually really fun, you know? Well, and she's got to learn, too. To do, I mean, this, this, the schedule's stupid. I mean, it's oh, insanity. She's a nurse. Yeah. yeah. So she's got a crazy schedule, too. Um, but it's been, it's worked out really nice. You know, her travel schedule with my travel schedule is good. Um, I get to see her a couple days a week here at home. Like it works out really nice. Mm -hmm. What was dating like before you had her, before you had a girlfriend? Was it a nightmare? Were you uh, on the apps? Like no, how does no, this no, work? No. It like, was okay. Well, it was okay. like you said, I mean, you have to question people's intentions. Yeah, that I was mean, it. That was know? the biggest one. It was just seeing like, you know, you could tell in a hurry, like if, if somebody mentioned like Rangers baseball, this that, you know, You're like, out. Yeah, see ya. Yeah, yeah. see ya. You know, I like I don't know. If so I, how did you meet Brenna? Uh, out and about, you, you know, just out and about, yeah, through the shuffle of life, I guess. She didn't know around Texas life. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, I don't know. It just yeah, it just made sense. And she didn't know. No, not really. And then like I don't know, she figured it out after, but she never treated me differently for yeah. like doing that, which right. I really appreciated. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. What, when you're when you're like meeting someone, and they're like, so so what do you do? Meeting someone new sounds awful. Yeah. yeah like absolutely <laughs> awful. I, I yeah. I, I tell her that all the time. I'm like, look, like you can't dump me because like I don't want to do this. I, I can't. I do not want to do this again. I can't. Yeah, Aww. like if I have to explain to some, like I went to Mel Mushroom last night. My mom, and my grandma, right? And uh, I hand the lady my Texas ID. Uh, sorry, my Florida ID because I'm not a Texas resident because I'm getting a beer. And she's like, you know, oh Florida, blah, blah blah. What are you doing here? And I tell her like, oh, I just work here for the summer. You okay. Know? Yeah, because summer I, job. Yeah, just it's my summer, summer job. job. It's my summer job. Because if I say I don't know, if I yeah. cling to my identity as a baseball player then it gets in the way with like personal life yeah. just in general you know so like finding that balance and then dating her at the same time like with the intention to you know like raise a family together and like do life together like that's what the whole relationship thing is about it's been a treat yeah yeah, right? yeah it's not easy right not easy by any means but yeah. she's great I've got a guy. Oh, you got, got a, a guy? guy? You have a read in for that I've too? I've got a read. Got a guy. <laughs> <laughs> she's trying to sell you something. Oh, I do. Yeah. No, he's actually a friend, but no, he's. You could talk about that offline. Because yeah. if he's going to do that, it's going to be secret. I know, <laughs> I know, but I would be a terrible um, reporter if I didn't ask. I'm going to save the day here and change the subject. How do y'all like you. Dallas? Thank you, Dallas. It's great. What do y'all like to do I for fun it. around here? I love it. Well, I, so much golf. Yeah, there's a ton of. I've had so many good hosts. Oh, my gosh. I've had so well, and we tried, Mike tried to get him to come play Colonial and it fell through. Through. Yeah, and it's I just have to wait till the course is we'll, Yeah, we'll figure it out one of these days. But I don't know, like through yeah. her, through Leslie, like uh, all these other people, like they've hooked me up with such great golf courses. And like I met a guy, our first time going to Cabo after the season last year. Like I, I met this older guy who's a season ticket holder for the Rangers. He's on my flight going down there because he's a member at a golf course down there. And then he'll have me to a couple courses around here and all this other stuff. So yeah, I golf a lot. Are you Usually pretty good. I'll, I'll, Depends on the day. Yeah. Depends on the day. Yeah. I don't know. Some days I play better than others. What's your handicap? Uh, three-ish. Yeah. Ooh. Somewhere around there. Good. Yeah. yeah. Who's I got a better know. golf game, you or Josh? Me. You? Yeah. Me, yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. We'll keep score no through the off season too. I think we were like 14, eight and four or something like that this winter. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we'll play a bunch. That's hilarious. We'll play a bunch. But Do you yeah. watch like, a lot of golf too? Uh, yeah. The, but the it's open? good napping TV too. Yeah. It's isn't really it the good best? napping TV, especially with today, you know, right. like yeah. not having a game tonight. Like, yeah, that's, that's going on TV. So what, what do you usually do on off days other than come on our podcast? Come on the <laughs> podcast. Um, no, I go off in the morning. Yeah. Go home, take a nap and yeah. then, uh, wake up like as pleasantly as I can and get excited to go to dinner and. That's it. Yeah. Put on a smile and have a good time. I love it. Uh, put on a smile fun. and have a good time. It's important to put on a smile. It That's is. it. Yeah. Well, yeah. Because, you know. I, come like, on, man. Uh, That's like the key to life. Bless Wake her up soul. And put on a smile. Bless her soul. Sometimes if I come home and we've had a long day out there and it's hot and I'm hydrated, then uh, hydrated. I don't want to go to dinner. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll sit there and look at the appetizer and look at her and look at the appetizer and be like. Yeah, so it looks pretty good. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the end of it. She'll, uh, she'll cut it short right there. If she, could, your... if she could, she would say, hey, we're going home. Yeah. I don't want this anymore. Yeah. <laughs> we can always order in. Yeah, I like that. But, you know, it's, yeah. like, it's nice to get out. Any particular places there. that you love Drake's here? is my favorite. What is it? Drake's Hollywood. Oh, oh nice. I know Drake's. Drake's yeah. Hollywood is we my favorite. We used to live right behind Drake's over so there, like Lovers and Inwood. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. good. Yeah, I love it. Drake's, I've never been there. What kind of Drake's Hollywood, really? Um... I don't know. There's steak and American they also have cuisine. like pizza and burgers cuisine. and yeah, that's how it's I would like say old timey it. kind yeah. of feel, like fancy old timey. Oh, place. okay. It's really good. And neighborhood yeah. services is right over there. Jose. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. A bunch of stuff okay. Right yeah, over there. Odelay right across the road Odelay. too. Oh man, yeah, yeah. those Odelay margaritas. Oh, there's something special. Something, something special. I mean, yeah. Tex-Mex here. Yes. 
Outrageous. Once you like, Outrageous. once you know it, once you live here, you really can't go anywhere else. You Come can't on. eat Mexican food anywhere else. It's yeah. not good. Uh, I mean, the Mambo Taxi at Me Casino. Oh yeah, it's trouble. Yeah, yes. absolute trouble. What's yeah. your cutoff? Two or three? Two. Yeah, because yeah, usually I <laughs> drive. Usually sometimes. I drive. Mm-hmm. Then, then like in the middle of dinner, I'm drinking water. I'm like, ooh. Yeah. More rice, please. <laughs> <laughs> Rice, tortillas, like, give me all, all, right, the, all more, the carbs. Couple, couple yeah. more waters, all like, yeah, that Dos Equis not a good idea. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, one more on baseball, and then I think we, we can wrap yeah, up. Yeah, we got um, a lot of go. Yes. Sure. Uh, what, what's Boach been like? He's been so much fun, just from my perspective. The stories that he tells and shit like that. He's but great. He's, it seems like he's the perfect fit for this group of humans in that clubhouse. Yes, yeah. He's just so loose, you know. And I, I, a quote that I'll see out of him a couple times in the media, it'll be like, um, you know, I just want my players to perform the best. I want to give them the environment to individually perform as well as they can. And that's just – that's that rings so true. You know, he'll stop by while we're having lunch and say something and – you know, spit his food at you while he's eating. Cause it is, you know. <laughs> but he's great. You know, he's great. And I think it's so funny that his knee had to get replaced because he walks so slow. <laughs> like, so slow. You know, like you Do see him coming. Do people give him crap for that? Oh, yeah. And he, yeah, yeah. yeah that's uh, but, you know, as and long, he likes as, it. He yeah, laughs. As, oh, yeah. long as, as long as you're, like, upfront about it, you know, and give it to him to his face. Like, you know, give him a fair shot to fight back. Yeah. Right, like, yeah. we're on the elevator coming home. I don't remember where we were on the road and it's like, it's super late. We're packed in there like sardines and, you know, we get close to the floor and somebody says, take the stairs to whoever's on the bottom level. It doesn't oh, matter. It doesn't it's matter. Uh, it's okay. like clockwork. Like I'll like, be on ninth floor and I'll get in the elevator and they'll be like, they'll, and I'll push nine and they'll be like, take the stairs, <laughs> Jones. And I'm like, oh. It's automatic. Yes, it's automatic. Like, yeah, if you're on the 25th floor, somebody presses 22, they're here and take the stairs. Yes. So we get close to the top and, you know, somebody's saying, uh, take the stairs, whoever's got the bottom one. And Boach is like, oh, you know what? I want to go work out. And it's like 1145 at night and he's got a golf polo on and a pair of jeans. I'm like, no, you're not. So roll with it. <laughs> no, you're not. Roll with so it. When, when, when Tito was in town, when the Guardians were in town, oh. they talked to Tito and um, Terry Francona, who's the manager of the Guardians, and um, I guess he made the comment that, like, I'm so glad Boach is back in the game, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, and plus, he's probably the only guy that's slower than me. <laughs> and so Boach got pissed. So Dave Raymond tells Boach this. Yeah. And so uh, Dave's like, well, I mean, if you want, we can put a little t- a little clock up there and time you guys. <laughs> so Boach, I don't know if you remember this, but at one point during that series, mm. I've never seen Boach move so fast. No. <laughs> because they were trying to clock it. No. And I was like, that is, I mean, it wasn't no. very fast, but it was like, for Boach, you could tell it. <laughs> Dave's That's like, all that's running through my mind is like, I'm going to be responsible for Bruce Bochy face planning on the field <laughs> on his way up to the mound because he's trying to, because he was kind of leaning forward and, oh. and he's, he's a, he's a giant human. He yeah. is a very he large, a human, large being, human being, uh, but he just can't. And he was just trying so hard to move real fast with that knee. And, Amazing. Hey, none uh, of that matters because whatever hilarious. he says when he goes out whatever there, like doing. tends to work. I know. Go get the new picture and that's it. Exactly. So say, hey, all right, uh, there's so exactly. many outs you got. This is, uh, let's get a double play. Let's go to work. Yeah. That's yeah. it. He's great. So great. Yeah. He's great. So great. Well, this has been awesome. It's been so fun to get to know you. Thank you. I know Rangers fans have loved having you here, and I'm, I'm sure they'll love to get to see this kind of yeah. behind the scenes stuff, especially from you and M. Thanks for driving all the way here. It's all You're good. The best. Yeah, we so good. appreciate Thank you it. Tell Brenna hi. Go take her to a nice dinner and smile. <laughs> Deal. The whole time. Deal. The whole time. Okay, we, and oh, we didn't do Mom Game Out on our last episode. Uh-oh. Yeah, we did. Did we? Yeah, we did. Uh, but he didn't care about that. Okay. It was a, it was, a half was it a half one? Okay. So look at me. This is your game right here. We're going to end the show. The middle one. one. Oh, wait. Which one's his? Oh, my not. Oh, yours is that one. Oh, mine's that one. Okay. So you look into your camera and you say, Mom came out, and as cheesy as it is, you throw up the peace sign. No. Yep, you can do it. You have to do it. You're a millennial, man. You a millennial? No, I'm not. You're, you're a Z. What is that? Okay. I'm 95. You're born in 95, which is also the same year I graduated. Mom game, out. (laughs) (laughs) He beat us to it. All right, you heard him. We're out.